video, I will show you exactly what you need to do to lock your Safari private browsing on your iPhone. So for example, let's open up the Safari right here. I'm inside of the normal section, but if I want to go to the private section right here, let's say I open up the private one. And just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to open up the Apple website. So I'm going to go to the Apple website. When I leave the Safari like that and come back, it scans my face and it has to make sure that I am the actual person who owns the phone to get inside. So when, right now, when it doesn't scan my face, I cannot get inside like that. But at the option, you can of course just click and go to the normal page without the passcode, that's okay. But in case you wanna to go to the private, it doesn't work because it is locked. So it has to be unlocked either with face ID or the passcode. Now, how do you do that? <clears throat> For this, there are like two things which you have to do, like two conditions to meet. The first one is to have Face ID or a passcode set up uh, like that on your iPhone. So you have to have it for the iPhone unlock or you have to have it for, I mean, at least the passcode needs to be here. So that's an option as well. But um, the second condition, which you 100% have to meet is to run the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 17 at least. It doesn't have to be the 17.1.1. It's not really that important to go to and update once you have the 17, but you need to have the 17 for this feature to actually appear on your iPhone. So this is the most important part. Now you have to have that, so definitely update your iPhone if it supports it, of course. And once you update it, you're gonna be presented with these pop-ups. So when you get inside of Safari, it's gonna tell you what's new. And the first one is literally locked private browsing. So locks when not in use, as you could see, this is exactly how it works. But then when you get to the Safari, you're gonna get this splash screen, which is gonna to explain to you how it works. So you can unlock the uh, private browsing with face ID or passcode, as I said, and you can change it later in the Safari setting. So it's an option as well. You don't have to have it turned on. It's just up to you. So if you want to switch it or change it up, switch it back to the original stage. Just go to the settings, Safari right here, and you should be able to find it somewhere. <clears throat> so uh, you can see it right here, the camera, microphone, advanced settings. So I have some section for private search engine, but you can only choose how it's going to work. Uh, however, probably in the advanced section, you can turn on some privacy settings. I, I believe that you should be able to, to find it somewhere in here. I cannot see it, but I believe that you definitely should have the option to revert it back to the original. Perhaps something is not working properly for me, but yeah, I'm not sure if, how it works. If I just look it up like private, it doesn't really work. You can see that the Safari search or I mean uh, the um, setting search doesn't really work the best, but this is the entire blueprint on uh, how you can use uh, the locking feature for a Safari web browsing. So I'm gonna wrap up the video right now, but you definitely need to know more about your iPhones. And that's why I created this 100% uh, free educational platform, which you can join for free using the link in the description. And inside you can find some social media app section, like you can find video editing courses, iPhone apps explained like in-depth guides for different apps, some useful stuff. So definitely something to for you to check out. It's free to join, as I said. So yeah, click the link in the description and I'll see you inside. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so you never miss future content and videos like this one. And I will see you in the future.